Okay, that's Jidee's sister. She's laying right next to my bike. <laughs> I think she's waiting for me. Um, so I am about to head over to Petrung Rung Gym because I got a call from Crew New this morning, well, this afternoon, and he was saying that um, I, well, I left early yesterday before all of the fights were over because we were trying to get back to Patia. It was really, really late and it was a long drive. So we left before it was done. Um, and apparently I was awarded some kind of like trophy cup and uh, I left my mat there for people to sit on and um, I have to go pick up my money and my bonus and stuff like this. So I'm heading over there to do that now and I should have done it hours ago, but uh, Krenu also asked me to um, bring the fight so his dad could watch it. And uh, I've been trying to make that possible by rendering it and putting it through things. Well, Kevin actually did all of that for me. Um, but uh, that we don't have like a cord that goes from our camera to the TV, so it, it was not an easy thing to ask. But I'm a little bit upset with myself that I didn't just go earlier and be like, I'll upload it to YouTube for you later because now I'm going when like the gym is active and busy and it's really not not an ideal time to be going. Um, but I feel kind of sore today. Um, the last time I fought this girl earlier this month, Lung Sing Jo, uh, when I fought her at Max Muay Thai, I was really, really sore the next day. Like, I felt like I'd been hit by a truck a little bit. Um, I think from the clinching, like, my arms totally burned out in that fight. And it was only three rounds, but they were um, three minutes each. And uh, it was, girls usually fight two minutes, people who don't know this. Um, so, uh, my body was really, really sore after that fight from all of the clinching. And I don't have that this time. Um, instead, this time, her game plan was really to try to outstrike me. And so the whole left side of my body, because I was not blocking, is just like dented. Um, and so I'm like hurt in spots rather than overall. Um, but I kind of feel weird about the fight for a number of reasons. Um, the first of which is that the, the time we fought earlier this month, because it's so close and because it's the same opponent, the proximity of it is obviously going to make me compare the two. Um, that makes sense, right? Um, but in that fight, we had fought once before, but like two years prior, and she beat the shit out of me in that fight, and it was like really embarrassing. Uh, probably my second televised fight ever, and it was just kind of like, we weren't on TV, but it was a televised event, so like lots of people were there. Um, San Chai, Nong Tum, like big event. And um, she just she just beat the hell out of me. Um, and so in this last fight, I kind of got like my revenge. Um, and so it felt really good earlier this month at Max Muay Thai because I was like, oh my god, I've changed so much as a fighter, I've done all of this stuff. Then fighting again at the end of the month, I know I'm not going to be a different fighter, it's just too close, um, but I'm comparing it to that fight where I was like, I'm doing so many different things because I was comparing it to a fight two years ago. And so this time, um, I'm comparing it to a fight that's less likely to have like huge changes, and I don't feel like I did as well in this fight. Um, that's my feeling. I'm sure that objectively, or kind of looking at it from a better, more full vantage point, I would understand that uh, this fight was so different from the last one, it being five rounds, um, her having a game plan, like all of these things probably made this fight much better than the last one in terms of me having to overcome, because in the first two rounds I kind of got my ass kicked. Um, but I was really embarrassed by those first two rounds, like I, I really was not doing well. Her game plan was really, really good, and I just wasn't like responding to it well in the way that I needed to. I then did, um, like you know, I can't just say in these first two rounds I did horribly and that's the whole fight because that's actually not even the scoring rounds. Um, and I clearly picked it up in the scoring rounds, and I ended up like really just blowing it out by the fifth round, um, which is a big deal because it was her hometown. Um, it was also on um, an event. It's a it's an annual festival that's. Um, two weeks long. The promoter is a Lumpany promoter. It's a big deal. And it's um, at Don Chetty. Chetty is, uh, it's kind of, we call it like a stupa in English. Um, and it's where you put the bones and the ashes of kings, monks, like very important people. Um, and this is to commemorate King Narsawan, who defeated the Burmese prince, I think, on top of an elephant. It's like this really awesome thing. You can YouTube that. It won't be the actual battle, obviously, but they've done like they've done uh, movies of it and stuff. It's, it gets you so pumped to like see these elephants battling. It's like those were the tanks at the time or something. So I'm fighting in the shadow of this Chetty that is the Siamese king defeating the Burmese at the time. And uh, I'm not Thai, so 
for me to win that fight on that event is kind of a big deal because odds were stacked against me in a lot of ways, not only in the quality of the fight, because this girl was kicking my ass um, in the first two rounds, but also in terms of like nationalism. Um, so I feel a little bit weird about that, but you know, you can't, you can't um, feel bad about that, or at least I'm not Burmese. Um, but, so yeah, I'm gonna go talk to Crew New. I'm gonna try to get a fight uh, soon because my next fight is scheduled on the 15th. Um, today was a day off and a rest day, but I didn't really rest very well, so that's unfortunate, but um, that's also something I need to learn how to do better at all times. Um, Jedi's sister's resting real good, so I'm gonna head over and pick up my trophy and uh, money, and I will show you guys that when I get it. What are you doing? Lupo. Lady. <laughs>